So parametric equations is 11.10. And we're going to look at uh, a quick review of functions and then talk about how they, how they relate to parametric functions or parametric equations. So functions, they go from, uh, usually you can use letters like uh, f and g. So they go from their domain to their range. And one way you've seen functions written is like this. Domain, range. And always these are uh, subsets of the real numbers. So the domain of f is a subset of the real numbers. And the range of f is a subset of the real numbers. All this means is these are real numbers. So they contain real numbers. So the reason I'm making a big deal about this because we're about to look at uh, functions whose output is not uh, real numbers, but a, a two-dimensional output. Uh, these functions could be graphed just like this. You have a x-axis and the y-axis is uh, what f of x points will be. So you have some number, let's say maybe two, and then the output uh, f of two. This is just an example I'm making up. Uh, let's say the output was one, so you would get that point right there on the graph. And uh, the reason we use real number uh, functions that have real number domain and range is because their graph can be drawn on a flat surface, i.e. a piece of paper. So they're very useful for uh, gaining intuition and being able to write them down precisely. There is a major drawback with functions. So your function can wiggle around a lot. The graph can look like this. Uh, no problem. If you remember the uh, way a graph was not a function is if it failed the vertical line test. So for example, we have seen plenty of circles. Uh, we saw circles recently. So this right here, even though we see circles all the time and use them all the time, is not the graph of a function because it fails the vertical line test. How in the world can we model functions, or model circles, if we only use uh, functions we've been using? The shorter answer is you can't. Uh, so what we're gonna do is expand we're gonna introduce a new type of function and expand what we can actually do with these functions. So a parametric or a, a plane curve. New type of function. This will be called parametric. Uh, the reason we call it parametric, it uses a input parameter that does not show up explicitly on the graph. So it, this will be is of the form. We're going to use a capital letter for these functions. I'll go with a capital H. And uh, let's go real quick. This was uh, one way to talk about how to represent a function. Another way to talk about a function is to write the uh, domain into the range of f. And so I'm going to use this notation down here. So the domain is going to be, uh, it won't necessarily be all real numbers, but it will be a lot of the real numbers or some of the real numbers. And the range, normally our functions went from the real numbers to the real numbers. Now we're going to expand this out a little bit, and the range is actually going to be R2, or it will have two-dimensional outputs. So we're going to use the letter T for the input, and the output, because it's two dimensions, it's going to look like a point or a vector, it doesn't really matter. But probably point's a better way to think about it for this purpose, because when we graph them, they're going to graph out as a bunch of uh, dots on the graph. So points a little more useful here. Because we're outputting two dimensions, I'm really going to need two separate functions. 
uh, f of t and g of t. Doesn't really matter the two letters you use here, f and g. You're going to really commonly see the first function called x of t and the second one is y of t. It's going to cause a little bit of problems with the um, notation because uh, x could represent a function or also could represent the coordinate. Uh, it turns out that they both basically mean the same thing uh, when, you under, when you have a little more understanding. So I'm going to stick with the f and the g for now and just know x is going to be the f of t function and y is the g of t function. When we graph, uh, let's talk about the clueless method of graphing. It's very useful uh, when you don't know what you're doing. So we go to graph this, we make a table of values. We'll have the parameter t, and then we'll have the, I think x is the f of t function and y is the g of t function. So we put some value in here for t. Uh, you'll get some f of zero, some g of zero. When you actually go to plot it, you're gonna plot these right here. So plot the point f of zero, g of zero. And uh, what you're gonna notice is this parameter, this t value does not directly show up on the graph. Uh, there are some ways to denote it. Uh, the only thing we're really gonna pay attention to is increasing t values, so we'll, we'll graph uh, with increasing t values and when we actually have a graph up I will talk about how to know which way um, the curve should be moving. So I think it's best uh, and usually our domain domain of h will either be a uh, it will generally be a closed interval from a to 